Hello you guys, today I'm going to be explaining how to use the SCP command on a Linux machine to transfer files from a local machine to a remote machine or vice versa. So the first thing we're going to be doing is copying a file from a remote machine to a local machine. So in order to do that we're going to do SCP and then we're going to do the username of the remote machine at the remote machine host. I'm just using a random IP address here. And then we're going to put the full path to the file on the remote machine and then you're going to put the full path to where you want to put it on the local machine. In my case, I'm just going to use a dot, which means the current working directory. So this is going to time out because I don't actually have a machine running at that IP address. But if you do, and you use the correct IP address and the correct user, and you have SSH running on that remote machine, then it'll ask you for your password. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy a file from a local machine to a remote machine. So in order to do that, we're going to do SCP, then the name of the file, on the local machine, then we're going to do the username at the remote host, and then the full path to where you want to put that file on the remote host. If you don't know where you want to put it, you can just leave the colon, and it'll put it into the home directory. All right, now let's say you want to do directories. You can use a flag of dash r, which will transfer an entire directory, and you can use the same format as what we've just done. So if we want to copy a directory called test, from a local machine to a remote machine, then what we can do is scp-r, the directory called test. If this isn't in the current working directory, you can use the full path name. And then we're going to go into the, put it in the user at the remote host, and then the full path to where you want to put it on the remote machine. All right, finally, let's say we want to get a directory from the remote machine and pull it down to the local machine. So we can just do scp r user at our remote host, the name of the remote directory, and then where you want to put it locally. All right, if you get stuck, you can always do man scp, which will bring up the manual for scp. And I'll show you all of the different flags and options. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.